It's an Ontario Liberal tactic practically as old as time, the argument that only Liberals can beat Conservatives. Over the years, they've used it to argue that anyone who doesn't want a Conservative to win must vote for them or risk splitting the vote. In polite circles, it's called strategic voting, but more accurately, it's cynical and anti-democratic. The ploy, yes, can help them defeat Conservative opponents, but more importantly, it helps the Liberals hoard power on the left. It plays into their long-held notion that they're the natural governing party and the only viable option for progressives. Notably, whenever it could arguably self-serve left-wing voters better to vote NDP, the Liberals suddenly cast aside strategic voting as political game-playing. They ask other parties to sacrifice for the so-called greater good, but are never willing to do so in return. While the Liberals were able to go years without being called on their bluff, that's no longer the case. This was first exposed in the last Ontario election when after nearly 15 years of Liberal rule followed by a spectacular fallout, it became clear Kathleen Wynne's Liberals had no shot at winning. Polls were so bad that five days before the actual election, Wynne took the unusual step of publicly admitting her party had no chance of winning and that the election was lost. Meanwhile, the NDP was on an upswing. So did she then encourage Liberal voters to strategically vote Orange to beat the Conservatives? Of course not. She told them to still vote Liberal, to vote for a losing party so that neither the PCs nor the NDP would secure a majority. You see, the Liberals don't care much about whether the Conservatives win or another leftist party wins. They will even happily throw another left-wing party under the bus if it prevents them from bleeding voters and losing power. With the next Ontario election in June, voters find themselves in a similar position as last time. The PCs are leading the early polls and the Liberals and NDP are more or less tied for second place. The NDP is the incumbent opposition, which would usually give them an advantage. Now, if the Liberals held that spot, they'd almost certainly argue for strategic voting in their favor to take down Doug Ford. But they're not, so Liberal leader Stephen Del Duca has dismissed strategic voting as a distracting game of politics. NDP leader Andrea Horwath has made some strategic voting pitches to voters, and why shouldn't she, after years if not decades of NDP voters doing the favor for Liberals? In reality, the pitch probably functions more as a reminder that NDP supporters should not be afraid to vote NDP, as they've been told time and time again that they should be. Ultimately, it's better for Canadian democracy to have more viable parties that push each other to better their ideas, platforms, and leadership skills. The Liberal strategic voting ploy has undermined this to everyone's detriment. This is because it was never about furthering a cause or upholding political beliefs, but about benefiting one thing and one thing only the Liberals' claim to power.